you are. I found you. Hello, Elise. Are you here for another game? What'll it be today? Not another game of tag, right? I trounced you yesterday. Oh, you're getting overconfident. Well, today I thought we'd play hide and seek. Hide and seek it is. I look forward to another effortless victory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep on bragging. I'm not going to lose today. Very well. You can hide first. I'll start counting. Here I go. No peeking. Now, where did she get off to? Maybe in here? Hmm. Nope. Not here either. Hey, Elise. I'm still going to find you. Oh, I've been at this all day. Leanna is going to be mad, but I can't just surrender. Elise, I'm still coming for you. <laughs> you still can't find me? Why don't you just give up? I can hear her voice, but where is she? Uh, all right, I give up. You win, okay? Come on out. <laughs> Yay! Now we're tied. There you are. Where in the world did you go? Wouldn't you like to know? All right, all right. I've admitted defeat. You don't have to rub it in. So, come on. Tell me where you were hiding. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> but I was hiding behind you the whole time. What? You can't be serious. I'm kind of an expert at hide-and-seek. <laughs> I've got other tricks up my sleeve, too. Ooh, other tricks. Teach them to me. Maybe I can use them in battle. I don't know. If I teach you everything, will you still want to play again? Of course. I can't go out on such a humiliating loss. Once you teach me your tricks, it'll be a fair matchup, won't it? I suppose that's true. All right, I'll do it. So, the ultimate hide-and-seek move is to disguise yourself as a different person. Then you'd be able to hide in plain sight. That's genius. Thanks. Now there's something I want you to teach me. How to run faster. Because then it'll be a fair matchup when we play tag, too. <laughs> well, okay, but I have to warn you. It involves training. I don't care. I just want to be faster. Promise that you'll coach me? Of course. Let's get together and start training tomorrow. Yay! I'm gonna get so fast. Just you wait and see. Hey, Hinoka. Come play with me. Sorry. I'm heading out to train. You can join me if you like. What? Don't you know it's a day off? Playing is just as important as training. If your body doesn't rest, neither will your mind. You forget we're from two different kingdoms. We can't be friends. I didn't forget. What would be wrong with becoming friends? There's no reason we can't get along and play together. Well, even if we were friends, I don't know any games anyway. I've spent my whole life training to rescue Corrin from Nor. Is it the idea of playing with a Norian you can't get over? If that's the problem, the only solution is to do it and see that it's not so bad. Why do you want to play with me so much anyway? There are other people. But I want to be friends with you. Fine, all right. What do you want to play? Hmm. Well, I won't stand a chance if we play tag. I read about a Hoshiden game that sounds fun. Do you know, uh, Rigami? You mean origami? It's not really a game, but I know a little. Yeah, that's it. You can make all sorts of things out of paper. I want to make a bird. I can teach you how to make a crane. Hmm. Um, like this? Ah, I'm done. Pretty good, right? It's a little misshapen. Look at mine. This is how it should look. But the wings on yours are different shapes. I like how mine looks. Well, for this next one, let's compete to see whose looks the best. You're on. Oh, but first, could you show me how to do it right? Hey, wait. I'm supposed to be teaching you, but I'm doing all the learning. Maybe we should do something else? No, I'm learning plenty. How to just let my mind rest and enjoy something. Corin and I used to do things like this before she was taken. I had forgotten. Our whole family would fold origami together and play all sorts of games. Huh, so you know how to play after all. You just forgot. I suppose so. I started training and dreamed of the day we'd all be together. Relaxing with you brought all those childhood memories back. 
Thank you, Princess Elise. It really feels like my mind is at rest. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You're really nice. Maybe we can play more from now on. We could fold so many creams. Your wish will come true if you make a thousand, right? That's right. I'm surprised you know that. Okay, let's try to make a thousand. And let's wish for peace in our world. So we can do this again someday. Hey, Crumb. You should come play a game. A game? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm ready. What do you mean, uh-oh? We're just gonna play hide-and-seek. Oh. You haven't set any traps, have you? Traps? Why would I do something so dangerous when we can finally just play? Yes, I suppose that's a good point. That's how people normally play, right? When playing with Lissa, I must be on the lookout for all manner of pranks. What kind of pranks? Like digging pitfalls in hiding places. Or releasing frogs. Or pitfalls full of frogs. <laughs> Lissa sounds so funny. You two must be really close, huh? I'm super close with my siblings, too, but I've never tried playing pranks on them. At first, I thought you and Lissa were alike, but now I see that's not the case. I thought you and my brother Xander were alike at first, too. But you two have nothing in common. You're so much more mischievous than he is. Just what part of me is mischievous? Well, you destroy castle walls, and you cook food that makes people faint. Xander would never do anything like that. <sighs> I didn't destroy a wall. But that would be one way to temper physical strength. Really? In that case, do you think I could get stronger by destroying walls? If you put in the hard work every day, sure, I see how that could work. All right, then I'll give it all I've got. I'm gonna break a wall right now! Well, I'm glad you're motivated, but don't go breaking too many of our walls. Hmm, if Xander caught me, I'd be in big trouble. He always looks so serious, and he says things like, Royalty should be dignified. I wish he and I were close like you and Lissa, and that he would play with me. I'm sure he'd play if you asked. It's a fact that all brothers adore their little sisters. Even a serious-faced brother with a wrinkle between his eyebrows? Even one of those. Prince Xander isn't always that serious, is he? His face may not look it, but he's actually really nice. Then you should ask him. But I don't mind standing in for him today. Oh, yay! Actually, I thought of a new game we could play. I haven't tried it out yet, but will you play it with me? Of course. Any game you want. What kind is it? It's a contest. We'll pick flowers while singing and weave them into necklaces. But the best part is, we do it all while dancing. <laughs> so let's get started, okay? Th this is a game? She may be more formidable than Lissa. Oh, Lucina, here you are. What's going on, Elise? Is it an enemy attack? No, I just wanted to play. I was looking for you all over. That's a relief. But wouldn't you rather enjoy the calm while you can? We can't just sit around. Xander says downtime is as important as work time. So we should rest as hard as we work. I think that makes sense. These calm moments are a good time to bond a little. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's why I want to play with you. Oh, I see. But... What's the matter? Do you not like me or something? That's not it at all. It's that you and I are from different worlds. One day, we'll be forced apart. The closer we get, the harder it will be to say goodbye. Oh, that's all it is? I was worried you didn't like me. Not being able to see you anymore will be really sad. But that just means we should make the most of our time together. How will that help? As long as we have our memories, we can think about each other anytime. That's true. If you remember someone, they are never truly gone. What you thinking about, Lucina? Although he is alive here, my father died in my world when I was young. It was my memories of him that drove me to try and find a way to save him. Now I understand what you mean. So let's have an incredible time today. What do you want to do? Yay! Thanks, Lucina. I want to play tag. Tag? How exactly does one play? You've never played? You've got to be kidding me. Well, I've played very few games to begin with. Okay, I'll teach you. It's super easy. 
I'll run away, all right? And then you count to ten. And then you chase me. If you catch me, we trade rules and I chase you. It's a running exercise. I see. Playing and training are combined in Noor. If thinking that helps you get into it, then sure. Tag, you're it. What? What's it? You'll never catch me. <laughs> Hey, Lissa, do you know of any ways to act more mature? I've been wondering that same thing lately. I was just outside playing and I wound up covered in mud. Camilla washed my clothes, but it made me feel like such a kid. I've been there. I want to be as mature and grown up as Camilla, and as beautiful too. Yeah, she is pretty. My older sister's the same way, mature and beautiful. I've always admired her. Someday I hope to be as kind and graceful as she is. I guess we just can't help but admire our big sisters. But how can we become more like them? Well, Frederick told me I have to go to bed early if I want to grow. So, I've been going to bed earlier than usual. Do I look taller to you? Hmm... I don't know how tall you were before, so I can't really tell. Oh, I knew I should have marked my height on the wall. But isn't doing the opposite and staying up late a more mature thing to do? Yeah, I always imagine everyone else staying up late talking battle tactics. So, let's meet up tonight. Just the two of us. Talking tactics is kind of boring, though. But we could eat sweets while we talk. Oh, that sounds more fun already. I'm still not sure about tactics, though. Oh, I know. I asked Camilla to teach me about makeup. How about you learn with me? Makeup is essential to looking mature, right? Now that's a grown-up thing to do. How often should we meet up? The more, the better. We don't know how long we have until we return home. Oh, yeah. Someday we'll have to go back, won't we? And that means we won't be able to see each other anymore. Oh, I would hate that. We finally became friends. Okay, Elise, let's promise each other something. Even after we go back to our own worlds, we vow to someday meet again. Yes, I promise. I promise to come see you again, Lissa. I wonder if we'll be as mature as our big sisters by then. I'm sure of it. I'll be so mature, just like Camilla. You won't even recognize me. I can't wait to see. I bet you'll be even prettier than her. You really think so? But I bet you'll be even more graceful, so I'm excited to see you again. I can't wait to visit you after this. I'll bring the sweets. Whoa! So you're saying you were asleep for a thousand years? Yep, that's right. You must have been so well rested. I always wake up during the night. It actually wasn't that great. I was trapped in a nightmare. I was all by myself. It was lonely. A thousand year nightmare? That does sound rough. If I was around, I would have curled up beside you to keep you company. Hey, let's bunk together from now on. So if you have a nightmare, I'll be right there. I think I would enjoy that, but... But what? Someday, we'll have to say goodbye. Becoming friends will make going back to separate worlds that much harder. Just the thought of not being able to see you anymore is bad enough. We'll see each other again, Tiki. I know because something similar happened to me before. I used to sneak out of the castle and meet up with my friend Effie. I got in big trouble when the royal guards found out. I couldn't go into town anymore, and Effie couldn't come to the castle. We had to stop seeing each other just as the two of us had become friends. Being forced apart like that must have been hard. It was super tough. But just as I was hoping to see her the most, she returned. Effie had become a royal guard so she could see me. She said it took a crazy amount of training. She had to run up rivers against the stream and lift rocks under waterfalls. That's amazing. She must have really missed you. If we get separated, I'll do whatever I can to bring us back together. I'll see you again, even if I must cleave through mountains and jump through fire. <laughs> and I'll do everything I can to see you again, too. No matter how long it takes, and no matter what gets in my way. I'll wait for you as long as I can, even if it's another 1,000 years. But if we can't see each other again, 
we'll still be friends. Whenever we get lonely, we can just think of each other and be together. I'll think of you all the time, Elise. So don't be afraid of separating, because you'll be okay no matter what. You got it. But for now, we can still bat together, right? Of course. If you have a nightmare, I'll curl up beside you. Thank you, Elise. I'm gonna sleep great tonight. I just know it. Oh, yes. I found some great fabrics today. But what should I make? It's dark, so it would make nice formal wear. Maybe Saizo would like it. But it's a bit cute. Dark, high quality, cute. I'll use it for Princess Elise. Huh? Did you see my name, Aboro? Oh, hey! You look nice today. Uh, I guess you're right. For some reason, I just don't make that face around you. But anyway, give us a quick twirl. A twirl? Like this? Just like that. Thanks, that was perfect. Well, I don't know what it was perfect for, but I'm glad to help out. It's still strange to think of Nora as an ally, but I have to admit that the Norian look is so fashionable. Really? The stuff we wear just seems normal to me. Like this outfit. I just threw it together. No biggie. You designed that look yourself? Tell me, have you created anything else? Well, sure. Lots of all-black outfits, but I like the lighter stuff, too. Like fluffy dresses. I especially love the super cute white summer dress I made. I grew out of it, but I'm hoping to give it to someone who has a daughter. A fluffy white summer dress? That's fit for a princess? <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to find the right balance of fluffy and formal. Oh, I see. I wonder if it's anything like the yukata we wear in Hoshido. <sighs> The Norians have such great clothes. I can't let them outdo Hoshido. Princess Elise, would you mind showing me some of your outfits sometime? Not at all. I want to see some Hoshiden kimonos. There are lots of types, right? That's right. I'm surprised you know about them. <laughs> I was curious, so I read all about Hoshido at the castle library. Aside from kimonos, I know you have lots of yummy food and beautiful buildings. You have no idea how glad it makes me to hear you know these things. When I finish tailoring this, would you do me the honor of wearing it? You're making me a dress? Are you sure you want me to have it? Not a dress. I'm going to make you a kimono inspired by Norian fashion as a symbol of friendship between Nor and Hoshido. If it means our kingdoms may get along, I'll wear it for sure. Wouldn't it be so cute if I could get my whole family to wear kimonos? And then we could all get together with the Hoshinan royal family. I can't wait to introduce you to all of them as my best friend. Thank you, Princess Elise. I will wear the title with pride. <laughs>